Еще раз добрый день, уважаемые коллеги. Good afternoon, colleagues, once again. I'll tell you the story of elections in Karelia. It's a region in terms of size of the territory. It is, it is half Germany, one third of France. It has 700 kilometers with the, of border with the European Union, the longest one in Russia. We border on Finland, unique nature, excellent uh, artifacts from the past. And I invite you all to visit our beautiful republic. But my, uh, the subject matter of my presentation today is not the nature of Karelia and not other points of attraction in Karelia. We're talking about the politics here. I'd like to tell you the story of the elections. Political context. Uh, we have 35 parties registered in the republic, but among those, six and they're shown here, ranked in terms of numbers, although they're not the numbers is, of course, the most important here. It's not in exactly representative of the activity of the party. The leading party, Unified Russia, more than 4,000 people, members. As of the 1st of October 2015, according to the Ministry of Justice, Yalbilako was number three in terms of membership. But it is not the latest data. We did, well, we, uh, we uh, did something to our managed membership, and it's a lower membership as a result, 832 members right now. This is the administrative map of the Republic, and we see the, number, the members of our party in various regions of Karelia because of this big uh, territory. The roads are not very good, uh, not enough local aviation, so we have to concentrate our activity in the capital of Petrozavodsk. Um, um, the most successful and the most recent uh, election campaign, NZ. The selection of deputies to Petrozovok Municipal Council, March 2011, seven candidates from uh, our party, three won. Then elections of deputies to uh, Legislative Assembly of the Republic of Karelia, and I am now a member of that uh, Legislative Assembly. I participated in that campaign. That was December 2011. Our party one on party uh, roles, we got 7.13% of the votes. As a result, I became the deputy to the assembly and single constituencies, which forms in the second part of the uh, parliament. We had six candidates, three of whom won, which one was refused to registration and one was dequalified in the course of the election. And then uh, elections to the head of um, uh, the mayor of Petrozavodsk, that was September 2013. We had two candidates in those elections, uh, me representing Yablaka and another one, Galina Shirshina, who acted as an independent in those elections. Why? It was uh, two candidates from the party and what, what kind of a technology that was, I tell you later. But that's com a complex situation politically, that's why we did it. But I'll tell you more. Well, these are the election campaigns. And one of the districts, well, this is our fr uh, faction in the Legislative Assembly of the Republic of Karelia on the results of uh, parliamentary elections in December 2011. Initially, we were four, but one person didn't, uh, didn't stood up, didn't stand up to the challenge, and he shifted to a different political camp. So we're three right now, used to be four. Uh, well, some one of the districts of our republic, 
here we can see uh, the photo of the head of this or district department of our party, Alexandra Spiridonova. Uh, well, I'll tell you later about all the components that help us succeed in those elections. But still, at this point in time, let me note one of the points. The role played by, well, well the per uh, personalities of our candidates. Alexandra Spiridonova, she is, in 2004, she won in elections to the mayor of Olonetsk city, and she was then a head of our executive uh, authority in Olonetsk. 2006, she was a, um, a representative government of Olonetsk district, and 2011, she became a uh, deputy to the uh, legislative assembly. There's also information here how many candidates participated in that on those levels. Uh, city Council of Olonets and District Council of Olonets. Now, our campaign of September 2013. That was election uh, to the mayor's office of Petrozavodsk. Why did we propose two candidates in this complex political environment that harsh pressure. Uh, we have to do it in almost every election campaign, especially in our conditions. We have to do it. Every campaign we structure in a unique manner in terms of the, of the organization, in terms of technologies we use. And we understand we have to be very inventive and think of new things all the time to be able to uh, counter uh, that pressure that is being exerted upon us. I was uh, running on the party lists, and also we had an independent candidate, Galina Shirshina. We understood that in case of success, uh, and we had good chances for success, and every time we participate in elections, we always want to win. So. There was, we uh, realized that once the um, uh, authorities in government feel that it's a critical situation, they will try to de depose me as candidate. That's why we had a second candidate. Why, how did we achieve success in that campaign? There's several components playing in uh, there. In particular, the program that we had in those elections uh, it was accepted by the city community, accepted well. And the slogan was, return the rights of uh, the uh, residents to manage their city. That program was developed by me on my own. And it took a lot of time, a lot of effort, the analysis of what is happening in terms of the city. And the fact that it was done not by external experts, or on order from somebody that the program was developed by the candidate uh, oneself, it makes it more uh, credible and allows for better contact with the people in the course of the election campaign. The campaign was quite uh, well structured. We relied on or what on managerial crisis. Well, it was based on managerial crisis, one of the biggest concerns right now. So all those issues associated with improving city management were uh, given priority during the campaign. Also so happened that two weeks before the election, when it became apparent that according to all sociological polls that we we're going to win. The leading candidate was representing Yabloko. And on those elections, there were 16 candidates. And the team of people in authority, well, did everything they could to try eliminate 
Yabloko representative. There was a, a former director of a school whom after uh, after that person. I was head of that school for 15 years. So to clash our, our heads, uh, like t two uh, former principals of the same school, that was one argument. Then there was another teacher, and she had the same uh, hair color. So that it mixes up in the minds of the people that were very similar. That was another thing that they did. Well, the same professor, the same gender, uh, similarly looking personality it was another thing. Out of the 16 candidates, there were representatives of all the political parties that we have in Russia. But as we understood what was going on, and as everything had been forecasted, well, we saw that it was a court that had to get together to strike out one of the candidates and uh, well my former colleague was the one who went to court with this and uh, well uh, well the court had to explain its decision and in one of the documents the first financial report of the candidate as they claimed carried the signature not of myself, but of one of my authorized representatives, which was absolutely legal, but they said it was illegal, especially that uh, that document that was missigned according to them, uh, well, was not even required. And uh, when you have to do away with a candidate, our court would say, yes, we understand that this document is not required, but still, you will not go through. So we realized that uh, this procedure will go on, will be procrastinated till the last day of the election campaign. So we had to act uh, very quickly. And uh, well, before uh, this was looked into by the court, I spoke to all my 2,000 authorized representatives, and I spoke to uh, the local electorate, well, my people, my representatives were were working to help me to inform the population about my platform. So at the second stage, I met with uh, the 2,000 authorized representatives that were working for me. I clarified the situation and I addressed the people in the city, telling them that, well, I am being deleted from the election list and uh, well if they do strike me out please give your voices for Galina Shirshina. When we were planning for a reserve for a standby candidate, well this candidate was a professor also from the pedagogical college, uh, PhD psychology and this was a candidate that could substitute my candidacy and of course this uh, person was well suited for this position she had been the leader of the largest trade union in the city and she was a very popular professor she was well known to the young people in the city so the authorized representatives and the electorate in the city were positive when finding out about this new candidacy and as soon as the court made its ruling well i provided the information that uh, i'm not a candidate anymore so please vote for galina shishina so she received 42 percent and uh, well she won against the 29 percent that her competitor received and this had been Nikolai Levin, the ex-mayor already of the city. And uh, well, uh, this is the ceremony in which the head of the republic participated when inaugurating this lady as mayor. And uh, it is already for two years that our candidate has been in this position, the mayor, Galina Shirshina, and she's working in a very tough environment and, uh, well, there are some people who are trying to undermine her as a mayor. So what brings us to success? Teamwork. I believe that teamwork is the most important thing. And uh, well, the 
other paragraphs are equal, I would say. Well, who is the leader of the team representing the party? Resources, legal resources, information resources, reputational behavioral resources, and so on. The candidates, well, we usually put forward the candidates who are very clean in terms of their past, and they are well known to the people, and therefore the people have complete trust in them. The strategy of the campaign. Uh, the strategy is worked out for a given electoral campaign. We don't use uh, well old campaigns and uh, well, one more thing, I was telling you about uh, the elections of the mayor. Well, so we were using some technologies there. And, of course, uh, support of the Yablaka party coming from the federal level of the party, we realized that, uh, well, everything was covered, our backs were covered. And in conclusion, let me tell you that our party and its regional units are the toughest opponents, opponents to the government-led team, and our team is uh, capable of winning at any elections. People understand this only too well, but on the other hand, this brings in persecutions and prosecutions that we and the members of our teams have to live through. There are eight members of our team against whom Criminal investigations have uh, been instigated, and uh, these are the pictures of our people. Well, within four, well, I don't have the eighth picture. I said that there are eight people there, so there are seven on these pictures. So this is an MP of the Petro Soviet, the city council, uh, well, in blue, in the blue jacket, Anastasia Kravchuk from the local legislative body. This is Vasily Popov leader of our regional unit and uh, well he is in hiding in Finland now and uh, while well, people are being searched prosecuted persecuted arrested and uh, sometimes they even have to flee to another state uh, to run for their lives and uh, well these are people supporting our candidates and we are doing this openly there are rallies to support these candidates we hold press conferences in order to provide information to people living in the republic stop political repressions in Karelia says the slogan and we wanted to thank the federal leadership of the Yablaka party we wanted to thank the Association of Liberal and Democratic parties that has supported us, especially in the Karnilova Zaletsky case and Kravchuk and Popov. I'm talking about court cases here. And uh, well, uh, this support is, of course, very important for us. Thank you.